First look at PixNOS based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at PixNOS based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, in case you're wondering what is PixNOS, well, this OS is a combination of Pixel Experience plus Nitrogen OS plus some features from Oxygen OS. So it is kind of unique in that way. So this is how Pixel OS comes out of the box. You do have Pixel Launcher baked in, which means you can always access your Google feed. As for the applications which come baked in, here are all the apps which come baked in out of the box. You do have Gcam 7.2 installed on this build which means you won't have to struggle to find a proper Gcam for this port. Then you also have the equalizer application from OnePlus, which means you should have pretty awesome music on your earphones. Then you also have the gallery application from OnePlus and the messaging contacts and phone application are from Google. Then you also have the pixel tips application. And because this is a mixture of pixel experience plus nitrogen os plus oxygen os you do have the google recorder application and you also have the safety application which lets you perform a safety check and you can also get nearby crisis alerts something which google added with the june drop of pixel features now as for the volume panel the current build has the volume panel on the left hand side and that is because this is a port from OnePlus 6. However, the developers are going to provide a patch so that the volume panel can be on the correct side for the Poco F1. You can now have a look at the quick setting tiles which you get. So you have your normal Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and the other quick setting tiles. But you also have tiles for USB OTG. You have OnePlus screen recorder baked in, which means you should be able to record your internal audio as well. And the other tiles which are available are lift or wave to wake. So this is your ambient display. You have a tile for live caption. Yes, you have live caption baked in. And make sure you update your applications from the Play Store when you install this ROM for the first time. You can now click on the edit option and these are the other tiles which you get. So you have screencast, live displays there, a tile for reading mode. Then you have caffeine in the building a tile for screenshot heads up notifications gaming mode is present so a bunch of tiles are present and the customization just keeps on going and going and going next up we can dive into the settings application and see all the customizations which pixen os has added on top of android 10 so we are not going to cover the customizations or the features of android 10 we are only going to cover the features which Pixen OS has added on top of Android 10. So we can dive right into the display settings. You have dark theme in the building. You do not have the option of setting a time from which you want to start the dark theme and the time at which you want to end the dark theme. You have night light, you do have adaptive brightness and you do have live display from Lineage OS. So you can choose your color profiles. You can also change the RGB to your liking and you can also adjust the hue saturation intensity and contrast along with different display modes and you also have reading mode baked in next up we can go into styles and wallpapers so you have four different themes which are baked in however if you want to create your own custom theme you have the option of multiple fonts and wow that is a pretty big list of fonts which are available then for the icons you have only four icons which are available the accent color pretty big list for the accent colors as well and then the icon shapes instead of four you have seven icon shapes to choose from and of course once you've made your settings just give it a name and tap on apply and there it is you can see that the theme which i just created was applied successfully then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen you do have the option of hiding the notch now once you use the hidden option then the contents of the status bar are going to shift down the notch area will not be used for contents of the status bar so that is one downside which you might say is when you hide the notch next up in settings you do have your 
screensaver you also have lock screen display so what all content you want to see on the lock screen if you want to add the users from the lock screen and if you want to wake your lock screen for new notifications and you also have ambient music ticker then double tap to wake is also there along with full screen apps so in case you want to ignore the notch for certain applications you can enable the toggle over here you also have app scaling and dashboard conditions and dashboard suggestions then you can also change your font from here itself and here it is these are the different fonts which are available you can also change the icon shape change the accent color as well and let's try using the yellow one and there it is you can see that the accent color was changed to yellow and before i forget in case you do not like any of these just tap on reset and you can also use the accent presets as well and here are the preset accent colors which are present in this rom so again a bunch of different accent colors are present moving over to sound so you do have the option of linking and delinking your ring and notification volumes and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the minimal style volume panel so if we disable this we will have the aosp style volume panel however if we enable this toggle we now have a pretty cool volume panel then we have vibration and haptics so you have toggles for in call vibration and once you enable this vibrate for calls you can also choose your ringtone vibration pattern now it is not possible for me to show off those vibration patterns on video but yes you do have the option and as i mentioned earlier you also have live caption just make sure you update your applications and enable it and yes live caption works absolutely fine you do have separate ringtones for both your sims and one feature which i love in custom roms is the ability to turn on or off the screenshot sound in case you want to do that nothing much to talk about in storage and privacy same applies for location next up we have security yes you do have face unlock and yes it does use the ir camera on the front next up we can go into personalization and this is where you will find most of the settings for pixin os so first up is status bar you can configure what all items you want to see in the status bar you have clock options whether you want to see the clock and date where do you want it left or right do you want am pm style do you want it normal hidden or small next up in case you want to see the seconds you have a toggle for that and if you want to see the date you have the option for that as well where do you want to see the date left of the time or right of the time what is the date style you're looking for these are the different options you have and you can also choose your date format then we have customization for the battery styles so what is the battery style you're looking for you have four different options i have right now selected hidden because i have the battery percentage enabled then you also have battery estimates so if i swipe down you can see that it is telling me that my battery will last until 4 30 pm it just changed and this is for 4 30 pm of tomorrow and then if you want to see the battery in the expanded status bar you have a toggle for that as well then in case you want to have a custom carrier label you have options for that you also have the option of viewing your network traffic and once you enable it you can see it but the only downside is that it is not visible in the status bar all the time it is only visible in the status bar when you expand it next up if you want to see a cross sign next to the signal bar when your data is disabled do you want to see the 4g icon instead of lte do you want to see the volt icon and yes volt works on this build and you can also customize your volt icon so you have these different options for your volt icon and in case you want to merge the signal and type icons you have a toggle for that as well next up we have customization for your quick settings so you can choose your quick pull down do you want it off do you want it right left or always let's choose right and if i swipe down from the right hand side the status bar is expanded and i can see my quick setting tiles expanded then if you want vibrate on touch when you touch your quick setting tiles you have a toggle for that in case you want to see the brightness slider in the status bar or not here it is if you disable it you can see that the brightness slider disappeared and here it is the brightness slider is now back in case you want to move this brightness slider at the bottom you have a toggle for that as well and if you want to see the brightness icon to the right of the brightness slider you have a toggle for that as well and 
this is something different if you want to see the drag handle so what is this drag handle they are talking about you see this small bar at the bottom if i disable this option you can see that that small bar disappeared so this is the drag handle they are talking about then you have buttons and gaming mode so you have a master toggle to enable or disable gaming mode however if you tap on gaming mode you get more options of gaming mode so you can block the notifications disable automatic brightness what do you want to do about the ringer in gaming mode these are your different options which you get gaming mode indication do you want an indication for gaming mode or not then you also have a toggle for dynamic mode wherein it can try detecting and add games automatically to gaming mode or you can just add those games manually using the add apps for gaming mode then if we go into volume rockers you have a toggle to enable or disable volume rocker wake and if you want to use the volume keys for cursor control you have options for that as well and if you want to use the volume keys to answer a phone call you have a toggle for that as well and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the proximity sensor before handling power and volume button wake so this i think is useful when you have your phone in the pocket and you don't want your screen to wake up when you accidentally press the power button or the volume button then we have customization for the navigation bar tap on system navigation and you can of course choose between three different navigation options we are using the gesture navigation tap on the settings icon and bam here it is these are the different customizations you get so you can configure the sensitivity you can configure the amount of screen height to be used as a touchable region for the back gesture then you can configure the length of the pill right now i have set it as hidden however if you want to view the pill at the bottom you can always move this around and then you will have the pill back but me personally i don't like the pill so i keep it hidden next up in case you want to enable haptic tick effect on the back gesture you have a toggle for that you also have the option to hide the ugly back arrow if you want to disable the back gesture on the keyboard you have a toggle for that as well and if you want to hide the gesture navigation bar and keyboard bottom space you have a toggle for that as well now in case you are using the three button navigation style then you can customize the nav bar format as well so there it is you have different options normal compact left leaning and right leaning and in case you want to swap the recents and back buttons you have a toggle for that as well next up in case you want to display the left and right cursor buttons in the navigation bar while you are typing you have a toggle for that and one of my favorite features is also there which is extended swipe action so once you enable this you can configure long left swipe action and long right swipe action so here it is long left swipe action screenshot and yes you do have extended screenshot or long screenshot baked into this rom next up if you are using the old school three button navigation then you can configure long press action and double tap action for your back button home button and recents button as well then we have customization for the lock screen so you can of course change your left and right shortcut from the lock screen whether you have want charging info on the lock screen or not whether you want a vibration for fingerprint authentication or not then if you want to see quick settings on the secure lock screen and you have a toggle to enable or disable media cover art next up we have customization for the power menu so in case you want to disable the power menu on the lock screen you have a toggle for that then you have toggles to see what options you want to see in your power menu and you can always add some so here it is right now we do not have the screenshot option let's enable it and bam here it is you can see that the screenshot option is now present in the power menu then we have customization for our notifications so you have notification manager wherein you can enable or disable notifications from applications you do have the option of edge lighting but i don't think so this option works battery charging light well i don't think so the poco f1 led supports multiple colors it just supports white so this option is useless for us next up we have customization of heads up notifications so you have a master toggle to enable or disable heads up notifications then you have less boring heads up wherein it is only going to show heads up notifications for dialer messaging and alarm application and if you want to see heads up notifications when a new media is played you have a toggle for that as well and then you can 
disable heads up notifications in some applications and blacklist is to disable heads up notifications from some applications next up you have noisy notifications if screen is on so play a sound and vibration for notifications when screen is on now this is very useful because let's say you are using your device right and then if i disable this because i'm using my phone i will of course see the notification so i don't want the sound to be played and i think this feature should be present in more custom roms then you also have a toggle to force expanded notifications next up we have ambient settings here we have wake up on charge so your device will wake up when the charger is plugged in or it is unplugged then you have a toggle to enable or disable always on when charging however i'm pretty sure that always on display is not working because always on display on lcd panel is as good as cancer when you go into ambient display you can always wake up your screen and hand wave i think is not working pick up to wake is of course working absolutely fine then you have device features so dc dimming and usb otg support are disabled for the poco f1 because i don't think they work then you have customization for the alert slider again this is not going to work because the poco f1 does not have an alert slider and i guess i did miss out on the gestures option so we can cover that as well so you have long press for flashlight wherein if you long press the power button when the screen is off it is going to turn on the flashlight you do have three finger screenshot works absolutely fine double tap on the status bar to sleep works along with double tap to wake also works absolutely fine and of course you do have double tap on the lock screen to put the device to sleep so here it is double tap on the lock screen works absolutely fine as well we do have device gestures now this is only for oneplus devices so do not expect these options to work magically on the poco f1 so that was all about personalization we can now go into system we already talked about gestures now before i forget in system and in gestures you do have a feature called adaptive playback wherein as soon as the volume is reduced to zero if you have any music which is playing it is going to be paused automatically and then if you increase the volume within the timeout which you choose here the media will start playing from wherever it was paused at you do have the option of rules so using rules you can you know enable your wi-fi automatically when you say leave your house or turn your lte on automatically when you arrive at work and all those options can be configured using the rules feature now in terms of smoothness gestures this rom is pretty good the gestures are better smooth no lags nothing like that in terms of benchmark scores here are the benchmark scores on your screen right now but as i always say do not judge a rom by its benchmark scores install it enjoy the rom because that is why custom roms exist so that you can try out different roms and not worry about benchmark scores because benchmark scores are just numbers and there it is peeps that was our first look at pixen os based on android 10 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you